Okay, welcome back to MA Computing. Um, I'm going to continue with the OSPF module uh, with the redundancy attached to the network. I'm going to start over here on um, PC0 and just drag this out of the way so we can see what we're doing. And sorry, come back to desktop, go to IP configuration, and we're going to put a static IP address in here. And we're going to go 192.168.10.2. And put the gateway address in, which is 192.168.10.1. Okay, here's a gateway to the nearest router from this PC. Okay, so, we're going to close that. We're going to come to um, the router here. Okay, I'm going to pull that across here. Obviously, you say no at that stage and return to get started. We're going to go to enable. And configuration terminal and we're going to come to the internet uh, interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 first of all and as you can see over here this is the IP address we need to put on so IP add 192.168.10.1 and obviously this was um, a class C default subnet mask so that's the IP address we're going to put in there Okay, remember to issue the no shut command to bring that port up. And now we're going to come back one, so exit, interface s0 slash 0 slash 0, which is this port here. And we're going to put an IP address in of 99.99.99.1. And the subnet mask for a slash 30 network um, is 252 at the end. And no shut again. And we'll come back, go to exit, and we'll come to serial 0 slash 0 slash 1. Whoops, Daisy. Put serial in first. And now we're going to put the IP address in of this port here. Dot 10. Okay, again, um, that's wrong. 252 at the end. Okay. And again, I've forgotten to put the add in there. Common mistake, I seem to make a lot of those lately. I'm going to click copy on that. Just make life a bit easier for me. Okay, remember to issue the no shut command. And for now, that is all we need to do on that router. I'm going to move down to this router here. I'm going to do the triangle of routers first. Okay. And now return to get started. Let me get over here so we can see the IP um, what the IP addresses we need to put in. So enable configuration terminal again and we're going to put I'm just pasting that from the clipboard because everything's reasonably similar now okay we just change the IP address there we've got the same subnet mask and press enter um, again I forgot to put the interface in okay so interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 I'm going to paste that again remember to change this to 9 okay issue the no shut command and that brings that interface up, which is this one here. Now I'm going to come to interface 000. Okay, exit, interface, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. Okay, I'm going to paste what's on the clipboard again, and this time change the 10 to a 6, because we've got a, a dot 6 network here. Okay, no shut bring the port up and then the fast ethernet port we've got to come back one interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and we're going to put in IP address 192.168.12.1 and a default subnet mask okay no shut for that Okay, so that's that router for now with what we're going to configure with it. 
and then we're going to come over to the PCs on this side of the network and come to IP and 192.168.12.2 this is the IP address there default subnet mask and then the gateway address to the nearest router or nearest routers in this case Then the same from here. And twelve dot three on this one. Okay. So so far we've done this. We've done these two routers and that PC. Okay. And all you're going to do is follow what she's on the screen here and making sure that you put all the IP addresses in as per the diagram and making sure they're on the correct ports remembering to issue the no shut command okay so that should be it really once you've done all of that and you've configured these two PCs you can then move on to um, part three of how to configure the OSPF and how to um, test if it's actually working okay and whether the redundancy links are also working um, don't forget to go around and check everything is configured with the correct IP addresses. You can do a, a show run on each of your routers and just check that the serial interfaces and fast Ethernet ports actually have the right combination of IP addresses as per the diagram on the screen at the moment. Okay, thanks for listening. This is Matthew from MA Computing. Please come back for part three. Thanks for watching.